Okay. Okay, well, here you are. You're leading the way. So you're like, uh, you're saying that you were one of the creators of the Milky Way because the way I see you, you are like twinkling and it's a twinkling energy and you're walking it's it's like an illusion of walking you're just floating towards me and um and i see little stars like little children almost behind you but it's my perception okay they're not really children but they're little sparkles they represent uh young stars <laughs> and you're like bringing them in with your arms open. And I see this just um, space. It's like right now I see it's like all dark with the uh, stars and they're singing. They're creating a melody. It's like a music, like a symphony. But, but the way you're walking is you're walking towards and opening up. And um, you know, Botticelli, uh, La Primavera, like the, this, this spring, the, the uh, painting, it's like you kind of look like that, but it's all energy. But the perception is like freshness of the, um, of the air, fruit and vegetables to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> like whatever's growing on the trees, that's what I, mm, like grapes, apples, that's what I mostly perceive. And you said that you came here, you heard, you heard like a um, music being sung by the, by the universe, by the stars. That's gonna be a flipping over of the, uh, it's like a like a domino effect. I see all the planets, and you are your subconscious showing to me that they're gonna flip the different direction. So basically, you're kind of joking to me now. If the sun was going to the right, then everything was go was gonna go to the left. So, but because we're gonna change the direction, we're gonna bunch up as like you call you say stars star people star souls starlight um you say star seeds is not the right term we're not seeds we are the fabric of this that reality of the black blackness of space what you see but it's not really black it's a human eye perception of the physicality in, because in reality, it's all white in sparkly energy. It's very light. It's 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 fluffy. It's like beautiful. And sparkles was all the range of colors, and just spectrum of colors, because of the sun. Sun vibrates it. Sun rays, in different vibration, goes through the fabric of that reality, and it, like gives. Mm, a push to programs and code it in those little sparkles and each sparkle becomes a planet and they work as a system then our system is not working for a long time therefore it has to a lot of souls had to come to change it and those souls now are all kind of getting together in their seric and they're holding space and I for some reason I see like uh, you and other people in the zigzag mode holding hands it's like energy circles you're saying we're holding energy circles because nobody can get inside the circle and it's like our personal space that we're holding 
because in each disaster area there's gonna be a safe place safe haven and i'm one of those who's holding that space for others who have the inner eyes to see and the feeling in the heart to feel to come towards me when the right time comes because when the leaves start falling from the trees they're going to try to implement their plans that they created for us for the humanity because they want humans to split up they want to separate us in different groups but we're not going to let them do it because the, we are aware a lot of us are and we're going to be holding these circles of clarity for those who don't who are blind and don't see and I see a lot of circles actually there's there is like eight huge circles over the territory of where you are Oh wait, each state has number of circles of people. Some states have more, others don't. Like the one that has the fewest. It's just, I see New Hampshire, I don't know why I do. <laughs> it's like they, they only have three, three little circles. But some states are huge, huge. yeah and so basically let's go see how you came here but i feel like you you show me how you did it's like somebody's it's a perception of somebody's blowing into the horn and the purple dust is going through the universe it goes across above and below and all the way around it spirals and spirals and in that spiral in that tube of energy that is directly to earth and forming a wormhole a lot of souls came to help out energetically and you were one of them I can just see like them popping in from different places and you came where you were supposed to be. You're at the right place right now because that place is going to suffer the most because there is the inner, there are these big gates that are going inside the Terra from your state. There are fake mountains. There are natural mountains. The fake ones contain the... It's just an illusion. Some of them have like a... Like a layer on top and it's a 3D. It's an... I mean, the mountains have big holes in the lead into inner earth. I see like not even the mountains. I see like the hills covered with, with, with a lot of beautiful green trees. And they lead. There's like certain ways to go to inner earth. And that's why this place is going to be shaken up. And that's why there is eight big circles. And one of them you're holding with other friends to keep the safe, safe place for other souls who are going to join in the chaos. Because the chaos is going to be regarding the, the tree of life sprouting up back back up from the main hill that's been taken over by the secret society 
of the stage runners. Stage runners. Actors. Hollywood Mountain. That's uh, there. It's from there. There's somebody, something's going to be shaken up, and I see there's a streams coming down the hills, the mountains, the rocks, and they ending into a big river, a huge river coming down with the rocks floating down. Something coming from the mountain is going to be there. But that's why you're there, and you're going to be safe, and you're going to be helping kind of people because they're going to be to well you'll mm, it's like you're going to form connections with them and you already have a lot of connections with them and they're going to believe you more and listen to you more and you already know how to do it you just need it like to hear it from from me from your original self who is basically directing the body you're in and there's different visitors though they bother you they bother you when you get out of the body to hold the space to talk to your friends and there's different spaceships that come and you don't like especially those gray skinned tall uh uh, they look like like um, tall greys, but they have grey skin and strange blue eyes, like glass, like very cold blue. And there's yellow in the middle, because if I touch, there's like 70% of reptilian DNA in them. But the rest is grey, but grey comes up to me as slash AI. Uh, they're like birobotic by now. Just different boxes inside of them. I see like implants. And they've been trying to hold you back a lot. Or they've been creating situations for you not to believe in yourself, to get disappointed with yourself, to think that you're not good enough or you or to make you doubt yourself about your decisions. Uh, and that's mainly what they've done because there's like um if I look like on the on the arms on the legs like outer outer surface of, of, of all four of them and something was the back like in the middle of the back there's like um boy it looks like a spider web and I think that spider web is the one that try to put onto the holder, like uh, onto the souls that hold the space for of survival type thing. Because it constricts you, like I almost feel like pain in my back, like it constricts you, and you can't like spread your wings, but you, as you would like in all the figurative and physical kind of understanding of that I see kind of I see you ripping it off and I'm telling you to call so there's a spaceship that came right away just like a classical uh, silver round one and there's four of those tall grays was like light gray skin, blue eyes, was yellow pupils. They're weird. They don't even look like grays, in, like in terms of eyes. But then the shape is like a, it's like a hybrids. But when I I feel them, like they're robotic, totally robotic. Like that's that's a plasticky soft skin over them. But the body is metallic or something. And they're the ones who installed this on you. But it was installed when you lost somebody. You lost somebody. 
It's like you were grieving or crying or something yeah, related yeah. to loss. <clears throat> That's what they, like they came to you because you were really down. You were you looked to me like a puddle of energy, like real low in vibration. And that's when they kind of like, when you, I, I, I see how they almost like pulled you up, reconstructed you and put that net. And it's like a neurological net that's supposed to monitor, control here and there, uh, let, let your body move sometimes the wrong direction. And then like accidents happen or whatever, you know, it's like step the wrong way. Uh, hurt yourself or something like this. That's what they were doing. Because they actually trying to connect everybody who came, like they specifically don't like the souls who came here by choice to help at the, this time. Because you're saying there's only eight to nine months left. There's little window. There's little window. And I'm asking you, are you sure? You say, well, I'm not sure about the time, but maybe seven months. I don't know exactly. But there's something going to be like a net covering over the globe. And it's going to be trying to suppress the people. And people are going to rise at a soul level, at a physical level. Because through tribulation... Of those months, people are going to discover something important for themselves. Because nothing what was of value before will be of value at that time. At that time, the only value will be the connection to other beings in human bodies. That's why we're building connections now to prepare ourselves. We have you're saying we have no fear, but we need to know how to cleanse ourselves and be clean for others because we are like conductors of pure energy that is coming. And it keeps coming. It's in the process of coming. But as a conductor, you need to clean, keep yourself clean. Therefore, I see like you put all four of those grays into capsules, you make them small and you put them into a spaceship and you like do this, you open a portal, you make it round with your hands, you open the black door and you put it in and I see the orange yellow fire and you just put them in. It's like the fire of, I mean, they're just gonna disappear from your energy sphere this way but then you're saying i need to cleanse my body from all these black dots from all the sickness from all that that came because it came through different through food water substances that they made me apply to inside of me and i'm just gonna just blow them out each and every cell please make sure you blow everything in that is of imperfection and of unclarity out of each, each and every tiny cell of my body and of my mental emotional bodies I see some boxes you store in your mental body. Those boxes contain some pictures of some people you lost. And you're saying that you can put them in a safe place, in some sort of closet, but they should be staying outside of your energy bodies because they just make you feel heavy a lot. When the memories come, you feel that again and again and you're tired of it now. You're ready to be light and clean because the truth is we're never separate. We just don't see the physicality 
of this or that person who is gone, who left you, but that we always see each other in the etheric, in the energy bodies. When the physical body is asleep, you sleep out through the top of your head and go up above and meet all the people that you're missing in the physical. And that's how it is. It's easy. You just have to remember it, that the, our brain is programmed to forget and not to remember what our energy body does at night when the physical is resting and charging up. And then you come back and you're ready to continue because now it's just... Mm. You're, it's interesting, you're holding a vase, there's a red rose in a vase, and you're saying that rose is a contract with a special person, and I thought it was a contract with a special person, but they tricked me. In fact, it was a contract to be serving this tall four grays, and I now know that it was a trickery. There was a lot of trickery in my life. But there was probably the biggest one. And you're just taking this. It's like a bright green away, like a vase with water inside and water's information from the past. And I see you like spilling it on the little table that you created. And then you lift the sides of the table, creating like a bowl. And you put the rose in and you say, now it's going to be a rose garden, garden in my energy sphere. And I'm going to smell the roses because I love them. I love that smell. But the sorrow and everything and the contract is going to be completely diluted in this water. And I see it's been like becoming like liquid. It's kind of like slight yellow liquid and then it dilutes and becomes white transparent like water. And you say you just neutralized it. There's no more contracts. There's no more implants. There's no more grays. And there's no more pollution in the bodies. Because I see you like created um like blue light lamp and you're shining into yourself into the body i see you're shining into the heart to the stomach to the liver to the colon to all this uh organs hmm. and you're just like i see there's like a lot of light going into um, you know, the area for productive organs. Is it kind of fluid, dark, very dark? It's almost like a hole in there. You're just filling it up because you need the energy circulation. It has to circulate through the whole body. Uh, it's almost like there were blockages there or something. Energetic ones. Um, and I, I, I feel like there's like a lot of feelings stored everywhere in the throat, in the neck, on the back, the throat in front, and like under the eyes, ears, like everywhere. And then those energies just kind of start transforming because you didn't want to get rid of them. You just wanted to transform them back to your true self when you feel light and you know that everything's going the right way and it's always been going the right way and it is going right now even more the right way because your subconscious is saying that yeah you know let's let's shine we're supposed to shine you're supposed to show everybody how to do it just was by example by living by living and enjoying your life, you don't have to focus on anybody. Just focus on yourself, and that's what. But that's when people 
Notice the mouse when we're natural and we're not playing the game, not taking on an actor's mask and trying to get attention. We get attention naturally when we are not trying to get attention. It's always vice versa. The opposite of what people think because we're in a totally distorted world. 32 strands of DNA. And I see them like blue and uh, what's the color of that? I don't know, peach color maybe? Blue and peach color and they're kind of overlapping each other. It's almost like you are um, making a basket out of uh, ribbons. It's just kind of I see it and uh, it's like um, it's like an interesting pattern. Mm. It looks like um, like a coral on something underwater, like like a beautiful seaweed that is just kind of like sprouting one from another, one from another, and it's like also the two strands are like that. And you're saying that well, they sprout like that because the star expands. And you like being stars because it's about expansion and you're like feel always like a center of the universe and you know all the news, what is going on with this planet, what creator created what and how life expands and a new life created on different uh, on different planet stars. And you also see like new baby stars being born and it's a beautiful process and you like that. Because you also see how um, the maturation of planets happen, and it's it's like a movie in your head. You see it all in the in the uh, universe. That's why you like being that body of a star. You say like you've been even like a rock circulating in the orbit, like a meteor, and and this is fun for you because you like in a like getting into flow and floating with it and enjoying and meanwhile the view uh, it's like watching your favorite movie um, you don't have any clones and see eh no, they could not. They tried to take your DNA, but they couldn't. This it, it's it's very hard. It's very like like the form you are. You take a piece off the fit and it gets glued back together. It's really interesting. It's like you are a mother cell of the Milky Way that produces that gives birth to stars or something because. Oh, uh, there's like multi layers of this uh, stars behind you, and you you're bringing them in, bringing them in, and it's just like a new generation of souls. Uh, no, it's different. Uh, the, the the little stars it they represent a new generations of, of of babies of children that are born in these hard times, because the harder the times the stronger and more determined the souls who are born. It's only a small percentage as opposed to other souls who are just like in the recycling kind of center of soul recycling. But uh, you can have a huge amount of low quantity something, as you say, but you can have a small amount of very good quantity and quality and that small amount of super quality will su surpass, will dominate the big amount of, of that quality. So that's what like we're all hoping for um, be, because it's, it's this year. You said it's this year and I always knew that I would get confirmations on the last year before the whole thing breaks loose and you show me like um like wheels wheels rolling 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 and you also show me another metaphor 
like a, a red carpet thing, like it unfolds and it shows you the way. So you basically just, I don't know why you sit this way, but I see you on this theory, like you're sitting on the chair like this and you're like prepared no matter what. And you're very um, feeling strong and serious um, right now about it because it's something you know for a fact that a lot of souls came here to see. Um, but you're more like a helper, that's what you say. You're more like to help rather than see, but watching it is fun too at the end. But you say, you're saying there's like, um, there's a lot of agenda going on. The lot, they're going to push, push, push more and more. And it's got to be hard to kind of be yourself, be focused on yourself because the, that's done on purpose that external things, events, are going to distract us from something they're going to do behind the stage when they change the programs of the whole reality. And then one day, you just wake your eyes and you can't believe. And it's not about the way you see the reality, but it's about the feeling inside that you're thinking like something's huge just just happened but then there's going to be a physical chaos like physical chaos um you're showing me some organizations falling apart some countries falling apart you show me financial system falling apart religions the religious system falling apart actually you're telling me that the religion is going to have a huge huge um scandal something like this going on when people are like more people will leave church um <laughs> i'm asking you how many lives you've been here and you're saying well you know it's like one life but it's actually 96 um i'm asking why what does it mean? And you say it's like nine, 96 variations of the same strategy in life, of the same kind of uh, line of self-acceptance in the human body and uh, understanding what I came here to do because if you keep switching life scenarios or life stories uh, and different incarnations, you, at the end of your life, you'll get very, very confused. Um. I don't know what how to describe this little things happening in space right now. But it seems like it's like shifting to the left, then and, and the water pours there. The water, I mean, rain, mud, floods, all that. And then it just going in breezes different way, more deeper. And the earth like twist. And if it's if it's cold on that part of the earth, then it'll be too much snow. If it's not, it'll be too much rain and probably warm air connecting with the cold. And... Um, so, yeah. It's like, it's like everything's turning and there's so many white flowers. There's white flowers with yellow, um, how do you call those? Chamomile flowers. They're all over it. And you say you like chamomile. You like those flowers and they're spinning around. <laughs> I feel almost like I'm going to fall off. Uh, because my head is starting to spin looking at this. And plus I see there's little um there's little like like energy walls and they're plugged in mm, oh, they like it's um 
like if you create a cube out of energy and you cut it into halves and you put it next to each other and you plug each cube to the black hole and the cubes are like mm, they spit out little uh, like little dark energy substance that they are going to try to put into food and water supplies. Um, it's like, I see a lot of robotic um, mechanisms uh, implemented into the universal space right now, and they clipped that one into the um, Milky Way. It's just, just right here. Because you see the planets, you see everything going on, and actually, there's so much going on. It's like a different, it's like a um, city in the, inside the city. Just like a different universe type thing. Um, but yeah, we're going to be... Well, I'm asking, what do you want to say to your own self? And you're saying that remember just to take care of yourself on a daily basis that's all nothing else matters right now because we're here to survive the great unknown which is actually known on paper and everybody can see it, but people got to the point of such dumb dumbness <laughs> I don't know if this word exists but um that they're so brainwashed that they don't see the, the what's before their eyes. And that's why those giant animals are going to show up more and more everywhere to wake them up. You're saying I'm trying so hard to wake people around me up. But a lot of times, most time doesn't happen. It's frustrating. But... Oh, yeah. Grab some water in a sec. So I think it's like, um, um, you also say that, that there is a lot of, um, alien species, uh, grab stars from you and you have to protect them. And that's why in your life, it causes you to have the under, under layer of an anxiety almost or something that you need to do but you are, don't know what feeling or the, the, the feeling of urgency sometimes too. And that's because you're, try, you're protecting the, uh, the, the energies of space and energies of space, it's just like a basket with beautiful fruit and uh, each fruit is needed for the universe to blossom and to expand but if somebody starts stealing it one by one that's not going to be enough of this high vibrational uh, nutritious uh, natural food just like you're trying to explain to um, They try to connect you to Mars. I see a spaceship like a long cigar one coming and trying to tie your legs together to to prevent you. Um, mm, they try to put the implant in the mouse. <laughs> they didn't really happen, even though it caused you pain, uh, because um, you would you you would say too much. You something's going on with it though. Um, <laughs> you show me to like you're all of a sudden at your office you say it's my office and it's um mm, it's like spirals or layers it's like a big building right it, uh, it's it's like a prototype for the buildings that we have here with the floors because that that spiral it's kind of like takes you there and you go and here's you but it's bigger you 
and you're floating here and there. You can't sleep. I don't see like I usually see like a table and a chair. <laughs> like that's what I have there. But you don't have that. You just have like this transparent glass, beautiful um, kind of office floating in space. <laughs> and uh, you're looking and show me, look, this are my lives to see. They're different. They're in different um, energetic bubbles that you call universes. Here's the yellow universe. Here's the orange. Yes, and each each color has a music to it attached because it's like color, music, and the form of the uh, thought forms that uh, gives birth to it. And you see, there's just like people. Uh, know what you mean when you try to explain that there is places and spaces where you just create with your mind immediately and you enjoy it and you said like right now and I'm, I'm in a peach color um, carpet floating carpet and it gives me such pleasure because I feel like I don't have weight to me and uh that's why it's just absolutely um, interesting how everything's going to play out, but it is because this world can no longer exist. Uh, there's too many woke up, too many according to them, even though according to us, 29.6% is not too much of those to wake up, but hopefully more will. But yeah, the message to you is basically just leave and do what you do on a daily basis. You don't need to rush anywhere. You don't need to find out exactly what it is you came here to do or supposed to do because it's already in your hands. Um, yeah. You just show me around. It's just the energies. So um, everything is like uh, breathable, movable, made out of energy. Even the screens that you show me are not really screens. It's just like a portal and it reflects a life over there. And you say you also used to be a monkey like me. Like, well, you are on a green planet. Green, beautiful space with giant leaves. And you live in, you live in the trees. Uh, but it's hard to find now to show it's okay but <laughs> yeah I mean there's a planet where you're just like a blob of energy and you're forming the uh, connections to, to space to like mother me you call your, what people say, higher self or big energy of you, you call it mother me because I'm in charge and I'm the mother of my own self, first of all. So that's why I call it this way. You can ask questions if you want. Uh, that's amazing, I'm so... <laughs> <laughs> Only what you're telling me that's awesome um what was my last time last uh, incarnation before th this one hey let me see i all i see is purple and white little flowers and um oh my gosh what are those green the trees with green olives it's italian it's italy Ooh, it's like Toscana. It's like Tuscany. It's the hills of Tuscany. Those trees. Olive trees. And also, I feel like you've been on Sicily, Sicilia. Yeah, Sicily. Mm -hmm. Sicilia. <clears throat> I always want to go there. South. South. A lot of... Yeah, there's a few lives in Italy, actually. South, Sardinia... It's this way. You draw there. You had a garden there and a house, and you had like a lot of olive trees, 
and I see you like um, baking like some sort of bread in the oven outside of the house. Uh, I, I do the same now. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. wow. And there's like a steps made out of bricks going to the balcony. It's like an open balcony. And then it goes on the to the roof. The roof is kind of like has a little fence, but you, you take like sun bathing. You do that on the summer there because you like to be on your own and just enjoy the wind and the sun. And um, and you're very uh, like earthy. You like touching rocks, going through them, making something out of clay. Yeah. Um, like fascination with everything nature gives you, hugging trees, talking to them, all of this. Oh my gosh, I'm doing the same here in this okay. lifetime. Hmm. That's um, I have a question. So you were telling me that, um, you know, about those grays. Um, I lost my husband in 2010. So after his death, uh, I, this was like, spiritual wake up for me uh i could not understand that and you know was big shock so i was reading lots of book i was reading spirituality metaphysics and then this kind of led me to be you know to wake up what what happened in this reality and um uh, the red roses he sent me red roses you, you were talking about red roses um i uh he, like i was out of the body and you know he came uh to me and you know he told me that i'm gonna i'm gonna receive red roses and i did mm -hmm. uh but i think this moment because i feel like darkness i feel exactly like you said i feel pain i have problem with my throat uh my right shoulder my back is hurting me and like lately and i'm very active uh, very athletic and like i try to heal my body and send the energy so do i have still like uh, implants no. or something's attached to, to my body at this moment no you ripped it all out you ripped it all out because it was like three ways it was going on the arms down to the legs and in mm -hmm. the middle all the spinal cord and you just ripped it all out and put it in the i don't see anything around you anymore you just cleansed yourself completely as a matter of fact you're kind of sitting in this position now and you're rotating you know like um triangle huh? mm -hmm. like the body with the legs out like you're in a yoga position I, I just don't know yoga positions, how to name it, but it kind of looks like a triangle. And um, you're saying that you're cleansed and that's what was making you sick because that implant was just um, connected, you know, like influencing your organs, basically like giving the Wi-Fi impulses and negative mm -hmm. ones to your organs and the organs were hurting, but I felt like the energy of sorrow or something like this was in your uterus, like where the reproductive organs were, like what well, there was like a black hole there. Mm -hmm. And you heal that because your energy starts circulating the right way. You know, there's no obstructions anymore. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, it looks good now. It's actually um, the color now a little changed. That's I, I see it's like um, uh, it, it was green before and now it's like terracotta color. Mm -hmm. um, any like um, suggestion like how I should uh, um do with my body how i can heal how i can like keep uh, you know in in the positive good energy a lot of times i got frustrated i think i i was thought i started so much uh, trauma from my childhood mm -hmm. and i i don't have basically i have very little memories from my childhood and i would like to know like why if something's like happened that i don't remember <laughs> well, 
because it's just a system of control that comes to me. And I see, well, before that in the childhood, if we go in there, I see like your father, he had some reptilian. It's a, a reptilian was red color, like dark red brick color. And I see his like big claws. There's something about the contract that your father. Sounds like your father is not your father. I don't understand what this figure is. Just like a male figure there. And something related to him almost like holding you and trying to take you away from the mother constantly. Just the weirdest thing in, in, in your sleep, you know, like tricking you and scaring you that somebody will take you away, take you away from the mother figure, right? From the female energy, mm -hmm. because you see, I see you together with her and you were in the fighting mode and that's why you were fighting for life almost, like they wanted to eliminate you because that's what they do to every uh, stardust person, like you say, who comes here to help. They, start, they try to either create wounds in our mental, emotional body so they can use it against us and fragment our soul or that constant like cortisol kind of like high levels of cortisol create the uh, the syndrome of forget forgetfulness type thing because that red reptilian was also taking information out of you and creating mm -hmm. a story for he has like a factory of hybrids and he would make uh, in we take information from you from you from your memories in school, from all that, a lot of times he would abduct your energy body and that's why you wouldn't remember what happened in school, how the day went, you know, and all that. And actually you would get punished too because you were like, you didn't know what to say a lot of times, what, what happened in school, why this and that happened because you weren't even in the body. But it's mostly that all your energy was used like your know, information was sucked out of you and made you forget but i'm telling you as at a star level it's as this as a parallel life type thing uh you were used for energy in on mars bases military bases mm -hmm. because they also see that you cut that connection um But I don't see you directly being involved in, like, let's say, SSP. But I, I see that you are very hardcore. It's hard to break you into pieces uh, because you're like um, glass. But at the same time, because you're just like one solid self, they can just shock you and beat the information, energy of information out of you. Um, or program the outer layer that you don't absorb, that like absorbs things. And plus, most of the time you've been working outside of your body, especially up to the age of five, you were just like constantly out of your body. So you probably mm -hmm. don't even remember anything anyway no. because you're not there. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, a lot of people... <clears throat> talk about the childhood and you know they like I don't remember nothing um, or maybe you know some children they want to forget because they went through you know trauma but mm -hmm. uh, I yeah I was just always uh, thinking why why I don't remember so lately I I'm glad that I don't have my energies <laughs> clear but you know like negative thoughts I'm very positive and I um I'm loner. I like to be alone. I maybe has to do with my energy. I I feel tired. I don't like to be around people. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, because like you were that, um, you, mm, the Lord's Canon would say that you're one of those volunteers. <laughs> yeah, I read her books, uh, of course. Um, yeah, I, I just, um, I live with my boyfriend. He's very lovely, but he is like spark of light and he likes people and he, you know, I, even him in himself is a lot of, a lot of energy so I like to take, have me time so I can kind of you know hold energy for myself like this is very important and especially in this relationship mm-hmm. it's important for anybody to what you yeah. say at least for an hour to be on your own but you need more of that because see the thing is you're very sensitive and you know that this year is going to be absolutely crazy we're going to see something we've never seen before. We're going to feel something we've never felt before. And it's going to be, um, you know, it's like you have these little problems in life. You know, you're making money and this and that. Mm-hmm. But all of a sudden you wake up and none of this matters. That's what you keep telling me. Yeah. There's going to be a day like this. Yeah, I, I believe, like, I, I truly believe that, you know, something is going to happen i'm uh, i'm very connected to you know with the uh, with the nature i love animals i i love traveling i um, i did this year last year i went to uh, iceland i was in nepal i did the first base camp in mount everest i went to uh, patagonia so i love travel and um especially iceland was so connected to me like uh, I was afraid to fall asleep that I miss some things mm-hmm. and every time when I see the beauty I'm thinking gosh why people why people don't want to see this like we are living you know part of me living already in heaven because I see the, this beauty and it like amaze me and I, I'm wondering why people live here and they don't see what I see <laughs> So, yeah, well, because yeah. remember, you're like a star and you are looking at every creation and you're curious to see what's happening here and there. And because in the physical, you can't just see like that and be connected. You need to physically move and check it out, check out every mm-hmm. corner of the earth, you know, to feel it because you're curious, you are. You're full of wonder. It's kind of like that. And you're dealing with this little star children, you know, who are just like sprouting like little tiny stars. And that makes you kind of like childlike personality, you know. Yeah. It, but the, the, uh, and you hate that the uh, life itself and the reality wants to make you an adult and serious and like everybody else. But you can never be the same. That's why... You've been always searching for the answers, like why you're different from others, and um, you know. But uh, have, yeah, you're totally. You must be a first wave of volunteer or something like that. I'm not sure. But yeah, I, I, yeah, I always feel I, I always imagine myself like I'm a warrior. You know, like. I don't have fear. That's why I go to the mountains. I I did a lot of crazy, you know, physical activities, and I never have fear. Um, maybe that's you know not good, but uh, and always I kind of imagine when I meditate, like I'm a warrior, like I'm fighting, and you know, maybe so, mm-hmm. maybe in my past life, one of my past life time, I was a warrior. Even I make. Um, little tattoo I have just little tattoo uh, means is white magic so my tattoo means uh, warrior of love and freedom (laughs) (laughs) well because that's what you brought in here you brought the energy of healing and also the energy of you know like hey you know we're gonna survive no matter what and that brings a warrior in you because you are very serious about your your soul's mission you created for yourself because you always want to help and you that's why you came. So you're determined like a warrior. You know, you have to stand up for yourself to survive mm-hmm. this craziness. 
So, and um, mm -hmm. sorry. So yeah, most can relate. <laughs> um, I have a question. Uh, I have two beautiful children. They adults. I have two grandkids, but. My kids, I think they, I feel they like special, you know, maybe every mother thinks, but uh, we have amazing connection. And um, what contract I had with my kids, well, like why they chose me or. Mm, just something water, because I see the dolphins. And I see them as dolphins. Wow. As I see you, and I see you as swimming with the dolphins, like your human body. Mm -hmm. uh, well, um, but I can't tell the gen gender, cannot, uh, because it's energy body. Yeah. And you're holding onto the um, like this on both, like both arms on the dolphins, and they just carry you. Mm -hmm. You connected to the uh, Lemuria also through through them they are they they they're from there because oh. i keep seeing water and i keep seeing how they bring you to see things because you want to see things and they're mm -hmm. just like helping you to expand yourself but it's oh, just that's amazing yeah because see it's like water and space air it's all kind of the same, to be honest. Like in terms of energy is going, mm -hmm. don't see the difference much. It feels so good to be in any of those, and they all feel kind of like water. <laughs> oh, it's just different density, water. But yeah, yeah, it's all uh, we're all energy. Everything is energy. Yeah, but they're your dolphins. That's what you call them. Oh, that's amazing. That's beautiful. <laughs> mm. oh, I love this. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm so, I'm so amazed. It's, mm -hmm. it's good to know. Yeah, I was what. I was You're working still... with dolphins. You're working mm -hmm. with them there. In that, um, I don't want to say it's a life. It just. Um, Oh my, it's just a reality you also exist, you know? That your energy exists and that reality where you are was, was dolphins and those dolphins came to you as, I'm going to say daughters in this life. No, it just like feels that way. But just energy is just like so soft and nice. Streamlining and like that. Oh, beautiful. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what else I... <laughs> <laughs> I want to well, know. <clears throat> you, you, you now did the uh, all this job of cleansing and basically you shared information with everybody you know how to do it, by example. And uh, now you know that you are in charge of everything inside your energy sphere your life um, and you're in the right place at the right time you actually planned to 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 kind of finalize some things before the big ball drops as you say here and it's going to be dropping soon and when that ball drops it's going to smash the outer core of the earth that is artificial it's like and uh -huh. that's when the hell breaks loose I just keep hearing it from your subconscious. This particular sentence is. Because there's something about the energy and the animals and the souls of the animals that people like you in that state you are need to hold space for. You're going to be like lighthouses for them and helping them out mm, like that because they are not as people they're not brainwashed um, you know that all they know is just 
they're kind of running their programs, but they also uh, have the natural love in them. So. Yeah, it's like Dolores Cannon said, you know, about the <clears throat> the first wave of people we're going to be helpers, you know, we're, we're, we're helping uh, in the time when, you know, the time will come to right. something's happen. Yeah, yeah. And the, the big countries like this one, the USA, there's a lot of stardust people came here from different parts of the world because we bring the connection to the countries we come from and this way we share information with the countries because we still have the roots attached to the, our original uh, place where physical bodies were born. Mm -hmm. Because everything, all the control systems started out in the USA. That's why. And there's more star seed people or stardust people, as you call them, needed exactly here. Because the toughest fight is actually going to be here. The other fights are just distraction. Yeah, that's what I, I heard from, you know, different sources and from, you know, I read about it. Uh, that um, America, you know, was created, this is very unique country because it was created from people who came from everybody, every, you know, every other place in, in mm. you know, in this planet. And I never believe, even I came to America in 1996, and I never believe that, you know, like people, oh, this is America, it's amazing, has so much opportunity, you know, for uh, life and school and work. And I never see this. I, I, I was seeing like, it's crazy, it's so fabricated. They, you know, it's like one big lie. And uh, I grew up in, you know, socialism, communism. So was better situation in, in Poland at the time than, uh, you know, in, in America for me. But people yeah. were brainwashed, you know, and, uh, you know, they, they see America, oh, you know, everybody has big cars and houses and, you know, you, you make your life your reality. I'm happy here. I, I make my, my life and I decide what is important for me. But, yeah, always, you know, America is... I think it's going to start the whole system collapse from here. There's a timeline when it collapses like the Roman Empire. It depends yeah. who's who wins the race. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, let me turn it off maybe here.